I was very shocked, but I'm not surprised because this is the new world order. Uh, so, as you know, uh, Abe Sam was uh, assassinated a couple of days ago. Uh, where were you when you found out? How did you find out about this situation? Um, pretty much, I was at work. Uh, the local Japanese uh, nationals, uh, they were the ones who told me about it. It was really shocking to hear. Uh, nothing that I would expect uh, to hear, especially here of all places. I've never felt more safe than being here, at the, I would say. So to hear that happen to someone so, you know, prolific and, you know, well known and liked by everyone, that's not something I'd expect. Right, right. Like, um, uh, where are you from, by the way? Uh, South Carolina, the United States. Oh, okay. So I guess it might have been a surprise to find out it was a gun that was used as well. Um, I've never heard of gun crime in Japan at all. Very. Uh, Definitely not something I expect here. Um, it does make you start to ask a lot more questions, but mm. you know, I, I do wish, uh, I do feel safe, and I do feel like uh, everyone else should feel safe while they're here. But again, very shocking news. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would still recommend this place to be very safe to everyone. Of course, hearing that a place that is safe, something tragic happened, does make people more wary. But you know, um, I will say that shouldn't discourage people from still trying to come here. Exactly. And what do you think this might do for the future of Japan? Do you have any ideas or any opinions on that? I wouldn't say I would know what Japan's future would be. I mean, I would say it would obviously tell more people to be more cautious, especially more political or more significant leaders. But more than likely, it will probably just increase security for the time being. But I still think things will go smoothly. Okay. Yeah, I think one of the um, the lack of security was a concern, um, but I have noticed when um, foreign diplomats or foreign politicians come to Japan, they tend to increase the security more than for Japanese uh, politicians, actually. So. Uh, <laughs> I guess that may come with its own uh, questions for that, but you know, yeah. I mean, the fact that it was less for him, I guess that probably shows how well liked he was, and you yeah. know. Just people felt more safe around him, but you know, you can never predict everyone's intentions. Exactly, exactly. Well, thank you for sharing your thoughts. Appreciate it. No problem. Thank you so much. Uh, so, I'm sure you've heard about uh, Abe San's assassination. Uh, what was your initial reaction to this uh, when you heard about it? Yeah, I mean, I've been living here for a long time, and uh, I guess, uh, you know, the anarchy and um, the revolt about people who are like a kind of like anarchistic uh, behavior in this world is getting out of the content because the people they are basically are not able to um, accept this new world order. Mm. People getting out of the content of their minds and they they react violently. So I was very shocked, but I'm not surprised because this is the new world order. Mm. So guys, get ready for the. I'm not the bad news. I think that the, that the new world order is happening right now, right here in Japan. Oh, Thank really? You. I'm, I'm sure of that. Thank and you. What, what does that mean for the future of Japan? Um, it's not only in Japan. It's, it's, it's around the world. So just, be, just guys, be careful and watch your, own, watch your own house and watch your own family and just be careful about your, your, your loved ones. That's what I can say. Mm -hmm. It's happening right now, guys. So do you think that it's um, uh, the politics is going to become more extreme and the control? Is this something that you... Uh, yeah, it's not about the politics. It's about the people are getting uh, fed up and uh, basically they're get, being, being fed up about this world, new world, uh, the policy. I mean, this guy, who, whoever acted uh, what he did, it's, it's not about what he did. It's about his revolt against this new world order. Mm. So the po politics doesn't matter because the politics, politics is only the part of the system. Yeah. So whatever happens in this world right now is it's, it's a part of the new world order. Mm -hmm. I, I know you, I, I hope you understand what I'm saying. Yeah. That's all I want to say. Thank you. But I think if uh, people are acting out uh, as anarchists, yeah. that takes away democracy in a sense. If people... Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> I think democracy is it's, it's another uh, kind of anarchy because people... In, <laughs> People in democracy, they think they can do whatever they want. Exactly. So they're explaining the democracy the wrong way. So this is what happened in Japan right now. They, they think that democracy is kind of anarchy or the backwards. Or, you know, you know that's, that's what I want to say. I mean, mm -hmm. but the basically, 
this Abe situation is not a part of the situation we'll be dealing now in the world. I just want to say, be careful. There are many bad things happening and will happen in future from now on. I'm, I'm sure of that because that's, that's my opinion. Sorry about that. Thank you. Thank you very much for sharing your thoughts. I really appreciate it. As you know, Abe San was uh, unfortunately assassinated a couple of days ago. Uh, where was you? How did you find out about that? Oh, so I was actually in my school and we were having our sports festival. And when we had our break, so I was just tracking through my phone and then I just saw the news, like unexpectedly, that Shinzo Abe San was shot mm. by a uh, homemade gun. And that was really so unfortunate because the uh, laws in Japan, like the crimes and the uh, gun rate, if that's how you call it, is very low, like really low. So everyone was so surprised and so shocked when this happened. I was also quite surprised that he, he was able to uh, kill him with a handmade gun because yeah. you have to be a professional to even uh, do something like that. Yeah. I also heard that um, once you get a gun license here in Japan, there's like a lot of process. So they have to interview you and your family and also like your neighbors as well. And that's so surprising. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I, s I saw something on LinkedIn actually about the process to actually uh, use a gun, get a gun and use it. And it's almost, it's so impossible. It's almost nearly impossible. Once you get it, it's difficult to keep the license as well. You have to renew it all the time yeah. and uh, keep having like uh, checks and stuff. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But uh, do you have any opinions on uh, why this happened? I think personally this happened because of maybe that guy has some hatred towards Shinzo Abe or maybe a guy or something related with his background or group but that's really unfortunate because if he would do something like that why don't he just um, like act or do some protest or like a rally about like towards hating him but personally I don't have any hate about him but like it's just so weird that you would kill someone just because you hate them yeah uh, do you have any opinions about maybe how this will affect Japan? Do you, how do you think Japanese people feel about this? I think in this case, Japanese people would think that the, um, the police, like how they were trained, were not that enough. But then, personally, I would think that they weren't that trained enough because the crime, like regarding the gun, like gunshot and anything related to um, crimes, is very low. Like Japan has one of the lowest rates in the uh, world. So I think it's better if they um, take more um, safety next time. And uh, I guess they should be really prepared with any war or any crimes that would happen in the future. Right. So basically they were taking advantage of their own, own safety because yeah. Japan is so safe they uh, essentially took advantage of it or didn't really appreciate the fact that bad things can still happen anywhere. Uh, Japan's safe but not perfect. Yes, exactly. Basically. I can agree with you on that. Yeah.